Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Michelle and I make hair, makeup and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about the curly girl terms that you need to know. So without much dilly dallying, let's get to it. So the first one, co-washing. Now what is co-washing? Generally, according to the curly curl method, you're not supposed to be using a traditional shampoo on your hair. So what you do is you either use your conditioner as a shampoo or you just use a product that is specifically marketed and branded as a co-wash. The next one, clarifying. Now, once in a while, you will see that your hair is not behaving the way you want it to. You're doing all of your steps, you're following your routine, but your hair is just not acting the way you want it to. Why does this happen? Since you're using so many products, they tend to build up on your hair. And that is when you need to clarify. Clarifying can be done with many things. It can be done with a shampoo that is specifically marketed as a clarifying shampoo. It can be done with baking soda. It could be done with apple cider vinegar. There, there's a whole list. Curl clumps. Now, when your hair clumps together in the curl, this is called a clump. A lot of people like thicker clumps, a lot of people like thinner clumps. Now when you have thinner clumps, what you can do is you can get a lot of volume. And you generally use a Denman brush or different styling brushes for it. Or if you like thicker clumps, then what happens is you have less volume but you have more defined hair. ACV. ACV basically stands for apple cider vinegar. And generally people do what is called an ACV rinse. So basically it's just rinsing your hair out with a concoction of apple cider vinegar. The big chop or clipping. Generally when you start the curly girl method, what you have to do is chop off a lot of your hair and that is called the big chop. And if you don't want to do that and you just want to trim your hair a little bit, that is called clipping. Scrunch. Scrunching is taking your hair and pushing it up, squishing it up in an upward motion and it is the sound that the hair generally makes when you have product inside it. SOTC, it refers to scrunching out the crunch. Now basically what you have is you use a gel to style your hair, your hair is dry and then after that you scrunch out the crunch which is when you squish it upwards, you scrunch it upwards to get the gel out, leaving your hair nice and soft. That is called SOTC. Now, why do we call it the crunch? When your hair dries, generally, the gel leaves a gel cast. And so when you scrunch out the crunch, it refers to the hardness or that gel cast that remains in your hair. Day one, day two, day three, what does that mean? Generally, the day I wash my hair out is called day one. And then after that, the days following are just named as day two, day three, day four, etc. The next word is lobo. Now basically a shampoo that does not sud up that much and is curly girl friendly is called a low poo. Which brings me to the next word which is pre poo. Pre poo is basically moisturizing your hair before you wash it. And you can do this with a conditioner, with an oil and with a DIY product. The next word, plopping. So once you've styled your hair and you want to remove the excess moisture, you generally wrap it up in a microfiber towel or a t-shirt or a cotton cloth and this is called flopping. I'll insert some footage here of how I plop. Okay, so squeeze out excess moisture using a large cotton t-shirt and place the t-shirt on the bed with the collar away from you. Fold once at the top and twice at the bottom and then slowly lower your hair into the t-shirt. Now, I would recommend using an old t-shirt because it's going to stretch out really funny. Wrap the folded bottom bit around your head by bringing the two ends together and hold it together so that it's nice and secure. Keep holding it, do not let go. Now bring the folded collar bit to the back of your head, take the sleeves and secure it in a knot. Now adjust the front bit so that there's no pulling and tugging. You can double knot it if you have any hangy bits. Make sure that it's not too tight. And lastly, serve that kitty cat realness. Praying hands. Now when I apply products with my hands like this, it is called the praying hands method. Refresh. When my hair is on day 3 or day 4 and I want to re-moisturize it and I want to bring some life back into my hair, it is called refreshing my hair. How do I do this? 
I could just wet my hair, apply some conditioner, put some gel, plop wait for it to dry and I'm done. Okay, so your pineapple. This is what the pineapple is. This is what I'll do to my hair when I'm just doing chores during the day or when I'm going to go to sleep. This is a protective hairstyle and it protects my curls and helps it not to get too frizzy or damaged. I'll be making a video very soon on protective hairstyles. I think that's the last one, yeah. All right, guys, that has been it from me. If you like this video and you gain some value, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, share the video with your friends. If you want to see more from me, then follow me on Instagram and I will see you in the next one.